Valley Woodlands Preserve today. It starts right here. And they have some trail maps here. And we go straight up ahead. This trail is great because it has a lot of uh, hills. It starts right off with a hill. There's a lady slipper right here. Never noticed these before. It looks like it's uh, kind of on its way out though. This is one of my favorite parts. You go up this big hill right here past this boulder that's hanging out the side of the hill and it's just a great spot. I love the boulder. There's a cool thing like if you go at different times of the day and it's like a sunny day the sun will spotlight different things on the trail so it makes you kind of notice things you might not have noticed before like this <laughs> mound of dirt with moss on it it's kind of just highlighted by the sun which is cool which I don't usually come at this time of day so the sun isn't usually pointing that out There's to me. There's up ahead. This is probably the steepest hill. It's a lot more fun coming down. <laughs> you have to be careful you don't slip because there's so many pine needles. I just really like the stuff with moss all over it. It's like artwork. And now we're getting to the point where we have Billington Sea along the side. And it feels so nice right now because of the breeze coming from the water. It's really humid today. Very hot. But this is a cool tree right here. I always take pictures of this tree. Birch tree. <laughs> coming up right here, there's a, a kind of like a lookout spot. Um, that you can check out. The trail really goes on that way, but you can just walk up here and have a look out of the pond, which we will This do. is a Billington Sea. The leaves are really out now, so you can't see as well. This is when the last time I was here, but that's the uh, big island straight ahead. We'll get a better view at another spot. You could kind of walk over a little more if you wanted. It's a very steep slope down though. And there's pine needles everywhere so it's very very slippery here. Something I've been really interested about is that there's all these ditches here. Um, and they go right up to the edge of the pond which is through the trees here. You can't see right now because it's very the leaves are very thick. But it just seems like an unusual spot for a cranberry bog. And you've got these very grown trees growing out of the center of it. So I wasn't really sure if it was a cranberry bog, but I found a map from 1960 and it showed this spot as being a cranberry bog. So my question that I wonder is when, when was this cranberry bog made and when was it abandoned? Okay, so at this point, you have a choice to just go to the Billington Sea end, which is the quicker quicker end, and I usually just go there, or you can go down this pathway, which I've only gone down once or twice. Um, we'll do the Billington Sea end first and then check that other end out. Look at this though. That's really pretty, the sun shining on that. I think I'm going to take a picture. So here we are coming out to the pond, and I'll take you down to the water. It's nice old stump to stand on. And these lilies right over here are really beautiful when they uh, start flowering. It's a pretty little spot. And over there, green. It looks like it's part of the other um, side of the lake, but it is actually 
a little tiny island with an abandoned house on it. But it just looks like a green blob. <laughs> um, and then over here, at one time, according to that map I found, there was a house here. And uh, there's some stairs here, so I imagine the house must have been right up here. And they have benches up here now, so we'll go take a look at that. Oh, I haven't been here when this tree is flowering. That's beautiful. So they have these benches. Let's say peace, love, hope. This tree is so pretty. I love that color. Rhododendrons over here. And then it says, Place to honor David and Elaine Crawley by their children, 2009. Nice view from back here. So from here you could maybe distinguish that that's a little island a little, a little better. So I'm still in that area with the stairs. I guess that's the only remainder of the house that was here, but if you come over here, the opposite side, there is the foundations to something, which is pretty cool. See the few like ruins of things. And you can come over here. And I think this was probably some kind of pump house for the cranberry bog. Here's a cool spider web with a spider. Over there. I don't know. There is wood. Wood there still, so maybe it's not as old as I think it is because. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so we're back here where the road splits, and we will go check out this area, which it's been so long since I've walked down, it's gonna be like new to me. fun. I think this is the end, if I remember right. Let's see. Yep, it's the boundary. We're at the end. So it really wasn't that much uh, longer to add this part on. It was a nice little walk. Now I'm just gonna head back. This doesn't loop, you just have to Go back the way you can't get you anything. An owl lives in that tree right there with all the holes. So I guess we'll just check this last direction out now. Mine as well. This looks cool. The remains of something was here. Someone had a campfire down there. That's pretty cool. Wonder what this was. strange spot. It looks like this is the end of the line up here. I bet this is a good fishing spot. Oh look at the lily pads. There's some lilies. All types of lilies.
view from the boulder.